repeatedly said that you want Republicans to take back their party. You said in yeah. today, quote, here I am, Nancy Pelosi, saying this country needs a strong Republican yes. party, not a cold. How does that square with your party now spending money to boost election-denying candidates in Republican primaries, including against House Republicans who voted uh, to impeach President Trump? Look, I said that we need a strong Republican Party, not a cult of personality. That didn't mean we shouldn't have a strong Democratic Party as well. And the political decisions that are made out there are made uh, in furtherance of our winning the election because we think the contrast between Democrats and Republicans as they are now is so drastic that we have to we have to win. And I feel confident win. I just see what is it? What's that called? The six points, forty four to what's it called? The poll? Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Are the anti-Trump Republicans mad today, right? They are pissed. They are upset. They are fuming, okay, over the fact that Carrie Lake and other trump back candidates as well, too, uh, it looks like they're going to win their Republican primaries, okay, as Carrie Lake here is currently leading in the Republican primary race for governor of arizona now this is a projection okay this is something that you know is still somewhat early um uh, the results could change but as of the making of this video it looks like she's probably going to win again that could change however that hasn't stopped some of the anti-trump republicans from melting down over the thought of carrie lake winning a state like arizona that is basically a purple state okay it flips blue it flips red but carrie lake winning the governor seat of a state like arizona is kind of evidence that the gop is not the gop that uh megan mccain's father used to represent okay uh the gop has evolved beyond the neocon gop of the early 2000s in which you know people like george bush dick cheney you know john mccain used to dominate right they used to be the stalwarts of the republican party back then and carrie lake's victory here again is causing john mccain's daughter to get upset because the writing's on the wall for her right people like her are just not representative of the republican party anymore okay people like megan my father mccain aka megan let me use my father's grave to sell my book mccain are on the way out okay it is what it is it is what it is and she's so salty about this because again it is happening in her father's state of arizona in which he used to be the leader of the arizona gop so carrie lake winning over the establishment is a sign that her father's legacy is coming to an end right in arizona right that people simply don't care about her father and her father's legacy anymore which basically became being anti-trump at in his life they don't care right the people have spoken they said look um your father's old republican party uh we don't want that anymore right we're not down with that anymore okay what we really want is a new populist wing of the republican party and that is what carrie lake represents and for megan mccain this is like her literally watching her father's legacy die right in front of her face right it's like watching her father's second death that is why she's so salty over this okay so i don't blame her for being mad I'm just explaining to you guys probably what she's thinking, okay? As Meg McCain took to Twitter last night to speculate on a race as the election results were just coming in, as she says, Carrie Lake will most likely win despite the fact that she was a lifelong progressive liberal maxed out to Obama for her entire life. All she had to do was vomit up MAGA talking points and people bought it. She is a fraud, a conspiracy theorist, and not up to character for governor. Then, <laughs> once it seemed like Carrie Lake was actually going to lose, okay, or wasn't doing as well initially, uh, Megan McCain prematurely tweeted out, wow, Lake is getting crushed so far. Incredible. Everybody better tune in to primetime if this lunatic loses because she's going to go absolutely insane on live TV. Like one for the books makes Trump look normal insane. So Megan McCain here <laughs> basically tried to call the race a little bit too early. OK, initially she said, well, I think, you know, Carrie Lake is going to win, but she's a fraud. She's a conspiracy theorist, all that stuff. And then, you know, when the results started to come in and Carrie Lake wasn't leading, um, <laughs> she basically tried to call the race early. Okay, and said that Carrie Lake is going to go crazy. She's going to act like a lunatic if she loses, right? 
So, uh, Megan McCain, right, after finding out that uh, Carrie Lake uh, started winning overnight, <laughs> actually got up this morning and saw it and had a full-blown meltdown. As she says, quote, I see my initial predictions were right. Despite the initial excitement of Robson pulling ahead, congratulations to my home state for making the transition to full-blown MAGA slash conspiracy theory slash fraudster. The voters have spoken. Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> and she gets trolled in the comment section, right, for basically having to go back on her premature gloat right her premature victory lap about carrie lake losing <laughs> as people are uh prescribing her some copium right some extra strength copium right <laughs> for the meltdown she's having okay she says that the state is going full-blown maga full-blown conspiracy theorist full-blown foster <laughs> again and she is getting trolled in the comment section for ratioed okay yeah, because the people have spoken, and this is what they're saying, right? They're saying that, again, the party that your dad uh, was a part of is over, right? That's over. The voters have moved on, right? They have endorsed Carrie Lake, okay? That, that's what's going on here, right? And you, you just got to deal with it, right? You just got to deal with it. And to be quite honest with you, Meghan McCain is just not dealing with it very well. As she went on to write a full-blown op-ed for the Daily Mail basically slamming Democrats for funding these Republican candidates. So uh, <laughs> Democrats have been funding MAGA candidates because they believe that MAGA candidates gives them the best chance to win in the general election. So the theory goes like this, is that uh, MAGA candidates are more electable in the Republican primaries uh, because they're more representative of the Republican Party, okay? So they're more likely to win. Democrats throw money behind them, boost them up for them to win Republican primaries. And then in the general, uh, Democrats are going to have an advantage because MAGA candidates are not as desirable to the general public as Democrats. That is the Democrats' theory, okay? That is what they believe, okay? Uh, and because of that, they've been pouring money behind MAGA candidates while at the same time talking about how um, they care about democracy, right? And how these same candidates are a threat to democracy. They're an existential threat to this country, right? But yet they're funding them, okay? Again, it just goes to show you guys what the Democrats actually really believe, which is what I've been telling you guys the whole time, is that they actually really don't care about democracy at all. Um, and everything that they're doing is just a show, right? It's just a show to try to get votes. It's very obvious, right? And my gut feeling is that this strategy is going to backfire big time come the general election, especially if all they have in regards to their attacks against MAGA Republicans is that, well, you're a far right extremist. Kind of like this ad they ran against Myra Flores, who won, right? He was a MAGA candidate that won in a deep blue district in South Texas. Take a look. Don't be fooled by MAGA Myra Flores. She's a Trump groupie says Joe Biden is a criminal who and accuses Democrats of being traitors. We've got enough crazy in D.C. Say no to MAGA Myra Flores. MAGA Myra Flores, Trump groupie, right? That is the Democrat ad, guys, that they ran against her, okay? That is the talking points, the line of attack that they are going to run against MAGA Republicans. And they think that that's what's going to win them the general election. <laughs> Mega groupie, Trump groupie, <laughs> called her, called her a Trump groupie. Wow, wow. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna backfire big time, and this is gonna be absolutely glorious. So again, Megan McCain wrote this full blown op ed, okay, in which she slams the Democrats uh, for funding a number of Trump back candidates uh, that have won their primary elections, including uh, Carrie Lake, right? And it's not just um, Megan McCain that is upset about this. There are other Democrats that are upset about this as well, too, as Eli Lake chimed in on this. And he said, congratulations, Democrats. One of the only Republicans vote Meyer to vote for Trump's second impeachment was just defeated because Democrats funded his MAGA primary opponent. Not another word about saving our democracy. Frauds. Yeah. <laughs> so this guy, Peter Meyer, right, uh, was a uh, Republican, okay, who voted Trump's second impeachment, and Democrats funded his primary opponent, 
right? The Trump back primary opponent, because you know Trump is primarying every uh, Republican that voted to impeach him, right? Uh, <laughs> and because of Democrat funding, this guy ended up winning, whom again voted to Im impeach Trump. <laughs> again, how does this make sense in regards to the Democrats' rhetoric on saving democracy and how Trump is such a big threat? They're literally getting rid of people that voted to impeach Trump, right? <laughs> Their strategy is backfiring big time, okay? This guy says, this is why Democrats putting money behind mega candidates was a terrible idea. The media is way too lazy to accurately report what actually is happening and goes for low-hanging fruit with zero concern for giving voters real information. <laughs> Yeah, so again, these people are freaking out. They're melting down over the fact that MAGA candidates are winning, okay? And they're getting mad at Democrats uh, over the fact that they're funding them. Again, it's not just blue check liberals and people like Megan McCain. It's also the mainstream liberal media is mad at Democrats as well, too. You're not sure what you're unleashing, but they're having to make tough calls. And I, you know, and I think thus far, if you look at Mastriano versus Josh Shapiro in Pennsylvania, it looks now like a pretty good bet. And again, Pennsylvania voters are very attuned to these issues because their state was on the front lines in that post-election. Okay, here's the warning. Quick warning. Uh, the Democrats were up nine points in Virginia in 2021 governor's race and up 16 points in the New Jersey governor's race. Yeah. And they won in Virginia and they came within three points in New Jersey this is a one of the reasons that people hate politics and hate politicians disingenuous fiddling around to play games with people's expectations and it is insane for democrats to be elevating doug mastriano who has basically said that he will challenge the results of the 2024 election if he doesn't like them as the governor of the state of pennsylvania and he may be down 10 points don't trust that number we have reason to worry that those numbers are not solid. I know you were closely watching these primary elections as we all were last night. You've called it disgusting here on, on this program that Democrats uh, were helping elevate election deniers in the hopes that they would be easier to defeat in a general against a more moderate Republican. One of the moderates in the race is Peter Meyer lost his primary. What's your reaction? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, you know, if Peter's opponent wins and goes on to November and wins, the, the Democrats own that. Congratulations. I mean, here's the thing. Don't keep coming to me asking where are all the good Republicans that defend democracy and then take your donor's money and spend half a million dollars promoting one of the worst election deniers that's out there. I mean, you know, the DCCC needs to be ashamed of themselves. Thankfully, some members of Congress, Democrats, have spoken out and said they're disgusted. I respect it. I have spoken out against the National Republican Congressional Committee many times when they've done things I've disagreed with. And there are also people that say, well, this is just politics, how cynical that is. And that's why I think Americans are just sick of both parties, to be honest with you. I know you were clear. Happy with working with the MAGA ones who are perfectly uh, you know, happy being a cover for terrorists. So the Democratic Party should never be funding a terrorist front. That's what this boils down to. If you give money to somebody who does not believe in the legitimacy of our elections, you are funding terrorists. You are funding insurrections. It's a bad idea. If those people get in, then it costs us a 22 and possibly 2024 presidential election. But here's the other problem with it. Nicole, how many times have we talked about candidates Minority candidates, women candidates, candidates who are struggling around the country, Senate and, and governor, everything else around the country, who are begging for money, who can use additional money and resources. And it's being wasted on this three-dimensional chess nonsense game that some Democrat cooked up in the middle of a consulting meeting because they think they're going to outsmart everybody. So, yeah, I, I'm in agreement on this. I don't think it's good strategy for our current political environment. And one of these is going to end up biting the Democratic Party on the nose. I don't know which of these candidates. Maybe it's Kerry Lake. Maybe it's Cox. One of these people is going to end up winning. And everyone's going to be like, how did this happen? It's like, yeah, the blood's on your hands. Yeah, so I understand why the mainstream liberal media is upset about this, right? Because the Democrat Party coming out here and funding MAGA candidates, despite their talking points about how they're a threat to democracy, an existential threat to this country, uh, makes the mainstream liberal media have egg on their face, right? Because the Democrat Party came out here and told them to peddle these talking points about uh, MAGA Republicans being threats to democracy. So now that they look like fools, right? All those people out here, MSNBC, CNN, that was peddling these talking points, 
about MAGA Republicans being so dangerous, you look like fools, right? Because apparently the Democrat Party doesn't think they're dangerous enough not to fund them, right? Not to risk the chance of them actually winning against them in a general election, which I think is probably going to happen more times than the Democrat Party is betting on. So we'll see. But it looks like their strategy might backfire. I'm just saying. I, I think this is not going to end well for the Democrats. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.